Hi there, my cherished one. Um, so, last night, there was a massive storm. Um, the rain battered down. I've actually lost one of my flip-flops in the rain somehow. Um, but after I left my last message, I went outside, put on my little robe and danced in the rain and it felt amazing amongst the lightning, the power of Mother Earth in all its glory. Um, I had a few other girls that came and joined me and it was amazing. It was so much fun dancing and laughing and jumping around in the rain like I didn't have a care in the world. It was so amazing to feel the elements so viscerally, so powerfully. Um, today, in fact, there's like bits uh, hanging off some of our hall today um, just because power and force of nature, of Mother Nature. <clears throat> Um, so yesterday um, was the last day we had the Sarasvati Yantra and today we put in a new Yantra. Da, 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 da. So this particular formation, I don't know if you can guess, it actually represents the sun. So <clears throat> this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the last Yantra we're going to make together. Um, so far we've had the Shiv, the living Yantra. We've had the Vishnu Yantra, we've had the Sarasvati Yantra, and this is, this is the Surya Yantra. Um, and there's rose petals, I'm gonna bring it close because it's so beautiful. There's rose petals, and marigolds, and beautiful colored rice, and the flames. And inside this pot, um, quite a few of the girls put in their crystals to charge them up. We've done a uh, um, 45 minute chanting mantra towards this particular shape. Um, and the teacher was saying how we, we work to anchor energies into the earth when we do practices like this, um, honoring the ancestors, on, honoring the deities that bring wisdom and knowledge to help support us, really. If, if that's something that you connect with, it can be really powerful. Um, I find the practice of doing the, the mantras really amazing. It's like, it's almost like being a really good rapper. You've got to remember the words, got to keep that rhythm, got to keep your mind focused. And you feel like you are charging something up, bringing power to something. Um, okay, what else to mention about today? We've had some amazing practicals. Mine's tomorrow. Looking forward to doing a really juicy practice. Um, bath in the Ganga. Um, and... And I'll talk a little bit about pratiksha, which is the practice where to come inwards, we can close the senses. In the 21st century, things can be really overwhelming, being pulled in many different directions. And through very simple techniques, or simple in the sense of closing the eyes, or even putting the fingers in your ears to close your ears, can really help bring us inwards, can really help gently shut out all the chaos that's going on outside and encourage the mind, which can be really um, busy and hectic, to slow down, to quiet down. Um, so looking at opportunities when things do feel hectic, even if it's for 30 seconds, closing your eyes, maybe putting your fingers in your ears and focusing inwards on the breath can be really recharging and rejuvenating. Um, so that's, a, that's an offer if you'd like to take it um, going forwards. I'm gonna do a bit more practice now for my exams. Um, I hope you're well, whatever you're doing right now in your day and wishing you lots of love and lots of sunshine. We, we look at the sun as being, you know, this thing in the sky, warming us up, you know, strip off when it gets hot. But it's, it's, it's so, I mean, for me, just thinking about how much it provides us with that sense of warmth, that sense of life. Um, my teacher was referring to the sun as a she because it, the, with the sun there's so much creation. Um, and I'd like to finish with thinking about your inner solar power as well as the outer solar power. Wishing you all lots of shiny happiness. Bye-bye.